It is known that bacteria in the gut or any bacteria will produce plasmids that will actually metabolize the antibiotic that's present and that's what happens in the soil where antibiotics come from. There's soil bacteria and these bacteria are fighting each other using antibiotic plasmids. So that's what we worry about in human health, but it also occurs naturally in chickens and that's why when we did use antibiotics, the nutritionists would put these on a shuttle program and change them every few months from, say, Virginia mycin to zinc bacitracin. With the other products like organic acids, abuterates, and some of these other things, there's really no issue with resistance of the gut bacteria to these products. How will these other replacements impact the system? Well, that's what everybody's really working on right now. And everybody hopes that you know, somebody's gonna find the holy grail of the best product to replace antibiotics. So far, at least in, in what I've seen in this research, that there hasn't been anything that really is as effective as, as an antibiotic. But I think with improved management and the use of some of these alternative products, I think we can get up to the standard that we need.